my name is Sam Song from Mechanical uh, and Aerospace Engineering. Uh, I'll introduce my research and uh, collaboration opportunities today. So a little bit about me. Uh, as you can see, the uh, quite a few list of institute uh, I've been through. So um, uh, it's kind of unusual, but I spent uh, more than 10 years uh, hopping around institute and learn new things, all that. So I came here 2015. So my research, if I make a short kind of description, is a technologist between patient and physician. So if it's a complicated robotic surgery or just a piece of plastic, anything that can help the outcome of the clinical procedure, that's something I'm interested in. So agencies to uh, look for funding for that is obviously NIH and NSF, if it's something more fundamental and the DOD, uh, I've been actually knocking on the door a lot on the DOD because we have, uh, 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 DOD has a lot of uh, uh, funding for uh, medical area. And also the local uh, Florida uh, state, they have some programs as well, and also foundation and looking for industry as well. So uh, our lab is very much focused on the practical uh, kind of level of uh, development. So uh, we, uh, last couple of years, we. Uh, secure the six patents uh, out of uh, our lab or with a kind of a work with uh, our uh, graduate students. And uh, since I had a kind of exp uh, extensive experience with the uh, previous institute, various institutes, I have a, a pretty strong kind of a teaching philosophy that the, uh, I like to let students experience the principles of engineering. And importantly, they actually you know, need to learn how to implement that in the reality. So that's something kind of a philosophy of my uh, teaching. So currently I'm teaching uh, two uh, pretty large courses. Uh, one is the introduction to computer aided engineering. Uh, people often call it uh, CAD CAM, but I think it covers more than CAD CAM and then engineering design practice. So it's a pretty large population of students I work with. And the other interesting educational uh, activity uh, I, I do is the pre-college summer research. So I've been doing this for several years, but um, I hire several uh, uh, high school students in the lab and they spend uh, summer there and to learn about, you know, college research and all that. So that's a kind of interesting uh, uh, program you learn. So here's just a one screenshot of the current projects. Uh, as I mentioned that um, we are very interested in uh, application level of uh, development. So the programs, uh, the projects are very uh, diverse. So we have a very many uh, projects and I will introduce briefly about some major projects. The first MR guided targeted cancer biopsy and focal therapy. Uh, technically this is to develop a needle guide system that can be work, uh, uh, working under MRI. As you probably know, MRI uh, environment, you cannot just put in any robot or metallic materials in there. So we need to have some clever way to, you know, uh, approach there. So this has been, I've been working on this quite a few years, uh, previously in uh, Brigham and Women's Hospital and Johns Hopkins University. I'm continuing in the area. My main focus on this right now is to make a real, real kind of system that can be introduced to a clinic rather than uh, deep dive and do a lot of research. So I'm actually focusing on the implementation of this and we have a, uh, some more funding uh, available now to uh, continue to develop and work with the Florida Hospital with it now. So I'm looking for radiologists and neurologists. Um, uh, you pro some of you probably work with the bio bio biomedical engineering area will notice that uh, uh, we have a little bit of problem with uh, having a good collaborator, uh, physician collaborator around this local area. So that's uh, something um, I'm interested in to find out. And the next one is the robotic, uh, orthopedic surgery. So basically this is like a, a little robot can do the uh, precision bone cutting, obviously for implantation and all that, the precision is really important and it become a minimal invasive if you do carefully. So um, this one also, I've been knocking on the door on the DOD and obviously NIH. So I have uh, several plans to put on uh, R21 and R1 and the DOD proposals for that. This one also, uh, I'm, looking, I'm looking for orthopedic surgeon around. I have a one in VA, but I like to extend the ball in like Orlando Health and the Florida Hospital. And since it's really close to the product, uh, I'm also looking for uh, industry partners. 
By the way, this, these um, ideas are all patented with uh, tech transfer in UCF. And they are looking for partners as well in their way. And the uh, third one is the telepopulation and occupation in the enabled tel uh, telemedicine. So as you see on the figure here, so what telemedicine can do is basically so far people are talking about giving a, like a video, audio, visual kind of, uh, kind of communication and maybe a little bit like a, a, a vital signs you can actually check from patient and looking at the monitor. But what we like to extend from there is to give body sound uh, kind of hearing. So Dr. Mance is uh, collaborating on, on that uh, particular aspect. And I'm trying to develop tele um, palpation, means that you detect a kind of lump or whatever underneath of skin with uh, some pressure scan, and then you recreate the hardness under the fake skin so that the physician from distance can touch as if he or she touched the patients. So in here, um, uh, uh, several uh, uh, proposals are tried. One is pending now and also, also patent filed. And uh, I'm looking for telemedicine expert MD. So I'm working with a, a great uh, nursing staff or nursing professors in the College of Nursing. But now we are kind of lacking actual physician, MD physician. So I'm looking for that. And also I'm looking for the industry partner as well uh, for that. So this topic, uh, I've tried um, uh, the NSF, uh, Smart and Connected Health. Uh, we didn't get the funding, but I'll try again. And also the NIH, uh, General Medicine, I'll try with our one uh, soon. So lastly, um, this is something I really kind of interested in, is that um, I like to kind of package what I learn or what I've been developing into uh, education because Research, uh, as you all know, is not about we, what we do. Also, we can teach or let the students learn about it. So I'm trying to package what we've been doing into educational program, but especially for the undergraduate biomedical research. So uh, I've tried to several um, small uh, funding. So luckily we got the one from NSF to kind of uh, packaging this into a larger program to implement each uh, scientific sessions or engineering kind of knowledge is into classroom. So that students have a more kind of chance to inspire and also looking for you know, better jobs in the uh, biomedical area, especially for uh, underrepresented or the Hispanic uh, kind of population. So um, future plan, uh, near term, I have uh, here the you know, project ongoing projects and um, I'm looking for all this uh, listed uh, funding. Um, and then, uh, as I mentioned several times, I'm looking for some particular partners around. So um, I'm continuously looking for it. So if you know around somebody interested in the area, please contact. And also I'm looking for the military lab. Uh, I've tried many uh, DOD proposals without actually having uh, any kind of a connection with them. So uh, it's been a little difficult, but I'm looking for those um, kind, of, kind of connections if you have. As a long-term, um, this kind of my dream is that like a uh, cancer treatment, the MR guided intervention, I like to develop this system to be really robust and simple. So make it a one-stop cancer treatment, uh, which is a little against the NIH kind of a, you know, direction, but I think this is coming eventually. So if you have a prostate cancer, you just pop in a hospital and you cure it and come home rather than go month and month of the, you know, uh, uh, diagnosis and treatments. And um, I'm focusing on the soft robotics for healthcare quite a lot recently because the hard and precise robot, I think that era is almost gone. And then we are looking for uh, something soft, something that can deliver whatever you want without the great precision that are necessary. And also adaptive assistive system so that uh, people can use the robotic system uh, and teach them uh, as, as they need rather than you know, using the complicated system and let the patient learn about it. And the uh, lastly, uh, my dream is about the making CAD robot system. I call it, I don't know if it's the right word, but uh, I like to make the CAD modeling environment that directly connect the actual robot so that you don't have to worry about all these calculations, the kinematics whatsoever, just to drag and uh, you know, click and drag your CAD model on the, uh, the uh, virtual space and where the real robot will move that, you know, exactly like that vice versa. That's something I'd like to develop. 
Uh, the last slide is about the uh, acknowledgement. I have uh, four PhD students, engineering or mechanical, and uh, I have uh, six fire students along with uh, five BS students. So I have 11 uh, College of Medicine students somehow. And then I have uh, a HUD and Excel, a TLN students. Luckily they bring some funding in. So I like to have a little control over it. So they are more like engaged in project. So these are the kind of symbols of uh, you know, collaborators, uh, collaborators I've been working with. And uh, of course, I thank to all these uh, 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 investigators uh, within the college and the outside and uh, some of the in our, um, Air Force and outside as well. And the previous and current funding, I'd like to thank to NSF, uh, NIH, and other some industry and GAP award, uh, which we've done with by OR and the other Florida local uh, funding. So that will conclude my talk. Thank you.